Kaiquat, Musqueam, and Sawasan First Nations. The knowledge and traditions and ongoing contributions of these communities are significant in providing context to the work we do, and diversity recognizes the importance that reconciliation has in building truly inclusive and strong communities. So welcome everyone, as I said before, a little bit about our organization. Diversity Community Services is a nonprofit organization with over 42 years of serving the community of Surrey and surrounding areas. Our goal is to help newcomers find belonging and build the life they want in Canada. Our self-employment program is one of our flagship projects that inspires and helps newcomers to build a successful life and business in Canada. Last year, we were thrilled to welcome Canadian Canadian Western Bank as a partner to this innovative program tailored for women makers and creators. The Canadian Western Bank Business Incubator, Incubator for Women and Makers is a 20, year, 20 week program for intercultural women. Participants learn how to utilize their talents for their business. Skills that are unique to this program that they receive one-to-one -one support uh, from our employment specialists, self-employment specialists. They learn business basics, test out their projects and, and products. And we also help them to do that in a service uh, marketplace, build a network with other women entrepreneur and receive ongoing support as they launch their business and become part of the business collective known as the Infinity Womenpreneurs. We've had four successful cohorts, 24 participants in total that went on to formulate their business concepts. These awards are a celebration of these women and their achievements. I'd now like to welcome Dylan Watson, VP and District Manager from uh, the West Fraser Valley District of Canadian Western Bank to say a few words. Dylan, welcome. Hi everyone, my name is Dylan Watson and I'm the Vice President and District Manager of the West Fraser Valley District here at Canadian Western Bank. At CWB, we're focused on helping Canadian business owners grow and operate their businesses so they can achieve and enjoy success. We're also incredibly committed to creating very real social impact in our communities and in fact, donated over $1.5 million in 2020, supporting more than 150 different organizations. Our community investment program aims to drive economic prosperity with a focus on two key areas of giving, enabling business and promoting inclusivity. We're committed to making meaningful impacts by working with organizations who are helping to create equal opportunities so all Canadians can achieve success. That's why we partnered with Diversity for the CWB Business Incubator for Women Makers and Creators. This program is aimed at removing barriers for intercultural women to turn their skills into sustainable self-employment business opportunities. For more than 20 weeks, these ambitious women were supplied with everything they needed to know about turning their ideas into entrepreneurial opportunities. We are so incredibly proud we've had the opportunity to support the Business Incubator and the CWB Women Makers and Creators Award. It's important for us to encourage newcomer women entrepreneurs and celebrate their success. Congratulations to these award recipients who exemplify what's possible through programs like the CWB Business Incubator for Women Makers and Creators. We are so excited to see what these incredible women entrepreneurs can achieve next. On behalf of CWB, thank you to all the inventors, innovators, disruptors, and entrepreneurs who have taken part in the program and awards. And thank you to Diversity for ensuring everyone belongs here in Canada and has equal opportunities to thrive and succeed. Okay, and we'd like to thank Dylan and Canadian Western Bank for such a solid partnership. WB Women Makers and creators. Now it's time for the good fun stuff which is the awards. And I'd like to welcome Florence, our diversity's uh, self-employment coordinator. Florence is the powerhouse behind this project. And we are certainly privileged to have her. She has done extraordinary work and we're grateful to have Florence on our team. So Florence, over to you. 
Thank you, Garrison. Thank you, Diren, for the introductions. And welcome everybody to today's celebration. So like one of our participants mentioned, today we are going to celebrate for everybody, for every woman makers and the creators. Yeah, so while we are running this program, we kind of realize that working as the creators and we try to do some business for ourselves. And sometimes you, you might feel that, oh my God, I'm working so hard, but I don't see any progress. So we kind of realized that maybe we should create something for everybody. You will see your milestone. You will celebrate your small success. And then also more importantly, you can join this community to celebrate with others. So that's the reason we want to have this CWB Women Makers and Creators Award. So we are about to award two exceptional creators, makers from you. We want to give out each of you $1,000 of the award. Yeah, so we will go through the selection process. We will let you know that. And we are also trying to know some of the criteria we can find from all the women makers and creators. So our selection criteria for our selection com committee members to decide are, we want to see your originalities of your creative business. We also want to know if you understand the market, if you understand the customers from the different possibility. We also want to know if you go beyond just have the idea if you actually implement taking actions and then furthermore we also want to know if you can reach out to the community you can reach out to the other resources you can hear other people's constructive feedback okay so these are the criteria we want the selection committee to go through and then try to decide who could be the two winners for this award but I also want to emphasize, we are celebrating for everyone. So this could be the small success. We are doing a little bit for everyone every time. All right, so let's try to see who are the applicants for this year's Women's Makers and Creators Award. CWB Women Makers and Creators Award 2021 Applicant Showcase. Passos connects the world to handmade treasures of the Andes. We bring fashion made by artisans using ancient craft techniques in recondite communities of Peru. Kiara Chan is an illustrator who draws Japanese animation inspired illustrations and aims to inspire young people who struggle with personal and economic setbacks to create their own stories. A pet produces locally made, eco-friendly, sustainable pet clothing and accessories. It is ethical, fair trade and encourages the circular economy. Wavebooks is an exciting online business venture that provides customers with a wide variety of choices and services to produce more young readers and blooming writers within the community. STR believes art is therapeutic and can bring positive messages and emotional support. Art is not only the end product, the process is equally important. El Silva Studio, sustainable graphic and web design for eco-minded small businesses. Whether you are launching a new brand or want to update an existing look and feel, El Silva Studio will guide you to achieve your goals. JJ Adidi strives to provide growth opportunities for marginalized women in deprived communities in Ghana. JJ Adidi creates styles that represent the heritage of Ghanaian fabrics, merged with modern day Canadian designs. Sukari Cultural Fusion, a sweet and loving brand. You will find Sukari products by their creative designs and vibrant colors that express the different cultures they inspired them. Promote indigenous culture through creative sewing products with aboriginal designs. Nest of Threads 
offers readily made products, many with creative aboriginal appliques that represent the indigenous culture. Shim's design offers creative, handmade, environmentally friendly products. It aims to satisfy the needs of customers who want handmade products and also care about the environment. Shiny Words produces jewelry and decor inspired by Persian and Arabic painting and calligraphy. It helps Iranian and Arabic immigrants preserve art and literature and increases diversity and interaction with the community. Mom Debbie's Cuisine is an eatery dedicated to providing delicious, healthy and nutritious foods, for customers to enjoy delicious food, acquire adequate nutrition with food therapy and enrich their lives with enjoyment of foods. Charlene brings her experience as a beauty and fashion blogger to the creation of Jewels by Maze, a collection of handmade, dainty jewelry that can be worn for both special occasions and the everyday. Logue is the creative business of writing, illustrating and publishing Canadian immigrant stories. It offers a unique multimedia experience and provides original books, videos and goods. Forest Fox Press aims to create stamps and products that provide superior quality, reasonable pricing, and effectiveness in any application. These products work to make a difference in someone's business, work, or profession. Souffle Studio, lightweight, contemporary jewelry, they provide accessories for girls and women to express their unique self through one-of-a-kind, wearable art pieces with the aim to feel confident in their day-to-day -day life. Pine is a Vancouver-based company that creates ergonomically crafted and naturally soft dresses. The designs reflect a classic lifestyle of comfort and elegance within an affordable price. Mosaic Tastes is a new business collective made up of nine immigrant women from all over the world. With the aim of sharing handcrafted, fresh and authentic spice blends to enjoy in your kitchen with local seasonal produce. Libby Z Company's mission is to make it easy for conscientious shoppers to live up to their ethical and sustainability goals, without compromising the joy of self-care and beauty rituals. Sway Product Photography aims to help business build a distinctive style for their company. With strong visuals in order to entice their prospective customers and increase customer confidence. Griot's polyglots make learning French fun, interactive and activity-driven for kids and adults, through acting, improvisation and storytelling games, the vision is to have places all around the world that provide language education through storytelling. Chloe Greenberg Studio is about empowering people to express themselves through art classes and various mediums, as well as licensing artwork to be produced on fashion and home decor. Miranda Speaks is a unique brand of inspired poetry, songs, short stories and quotes. The primary mission and purpose is to create an avenue to solve problems of discrimination and injustice through the message of love, peace and unity. Okay, so I feel that these ES applica applications are wonderful. And uh, after seeing so many good applications, so anyone want to make a guess who will be the two winners? From my perspective, every one of you, you are the winners of your business journey. We know how that is for everybody to be able to come this far. Yeah. 
So by submitting your application, we understand that you have been working with yourself and then working with Amy and also putting a lot of time for the presentations and creating the videos and then even put your voice over your applications. So today we are only able to showcase a few seconds for every one of you. But for your application, every one of you will submit a lot of the details, information. So for our selection committee members, I know it was so difficult for them to decide who are the two awards winners because we can easily choose a lot, definitely more than two. So through a very detailed discussion, selection committee, they recommended we should provide additional recognitions. So we really like the ideas. So right now we are going to announce. So we are going to provide additional two honorable mentions. So these are two additional honorable mentions. Each of you will be receiving $300 of the Staples business gift card. So I'm going to welcome Caroline, Carolina from Intercultural Women Maker Society. She's one of the selection committee members together with Neha Sood, commercial relationship managers from Canadian Western Bank and also the Yong Zhu from the Sinevolution Media Art Society. So Carolina is going to introduce who are the two honorable mentions? Um, yes, thank you so much, Florence. Um, <clears throat> well, it's so nice to see some uh, familiar faces on the screen and some non-familiar faces as well, uh, but I hope that we'll get a chance to work with you in the future. Um, well, can I just say that we were so impressed with all the applications that we got to explore, discuss, and then finally choose from to be recognized. Um, wow, you guys really put us through the ringer. We spent a lot of time looking at these amazing applications. Um, and in all that, we really, really felt the need to illuminate two businesses that were worthy of an honorable mention. Um, and because they were, they made our selection um, even more difficult and kept us discussing. So um, these two businesses that we would like to honor, um, they displayed so much resilience, hustle, hard work, and determination. And that was very obvious um, in their applications. Um, they have also implemented their business plans effectively and found success in moving forward despite the challenges and major learning curves that have come their way. So with no further ado, I would like to present the two honorable mentions and they go to, are we ready Florence? Yes. Phoebe Chua for Forest Fox Press and Jessica Gruel for Souffle Studio. Uh, yes, congratulations to both of you. Um, if I can just also say um, what we really loved about your applications, um, Jessica. <laughs> um, I, we, we've known each other and I've been following your work um, and I just want to say that your endless hard work in getting yourself out to markets and producing your jewelry so prolifically is commendable. Um, and your application and all your online platforms have shown us how much you have actually done in your business. Um, and you're, you're on your way, you're so successful. So thank you for applying. Um, and Phoebe, your application was so well presented and we all commented on what a pleasant read it was. Um, you captivated us with your story, your vulnerability, and how you and your family come together to support your success. So congratulations and thanks again for applying. 
Thank you. Thank you, Carolina. So congratulations, Bibi and the Jessica. Let's all give them another round of applause. Good job. Okay. So now let's go to the even more exciting part. We really want to know who are awarded to 2021 Women Makers and the Creatives Award. So let's welcome Neha Sood. Commercial Relationship Manager from Canadian Western Bank. She's going to announce the two awards winner. So for the two awards, the first one will be the best business idea. The second one will be the best business implementation. But we will start from the first one. And for the winners, you need to be prepared. We want to hear from you. We want you to say a few words. Okay, Neha, go ahead. Thank you, Florence. Good afternoon, everyone. I would like to first begin by thanking Diversity for the opportunity to be a part of the selection committee. It's been an absolute pleasure and extremely inspiring to be reading about all the different women entrepreneurs as well as their creative ideas. Huge thank you to the applicants for sharing their stories and making it very difficult to pick the top two winners. Carolina, Yunjo, and myself spent hours trying to narrow down the applicants. Each business idea was unique and inspiring and left us feeling excited for their future as they continue to grow in scope and enter various communities within British Columbia. We truly hope that each of these businesses find success because they're truly worthy of it. The winners were chosen for their involvement in and contribution to various communities for their interesting business ideas, which have the potential to expand in many directions and for the positive and transformational impact their business can have on many people's lives. I hope the prize they receive will provide some more opportunities and give the award winners the confidence to move forward in their further visions. With that said, I would like to announce the first winner. Drum roll, please. This business is an independent creative entrepreneur with great potential. The best business idea award goes to Bida Jamalpur for Log. I would like to ask Bida to say a few words, please. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much. I'm so emotional and I'm very near to cry because I remember all the hard work we as a team did. Florence, Amy, of course, myself and everyone in the group. And I'm so flattered watching all the videos of you, all the amazing work. And for me, being awarded like this is really meaningful. So thank you so much. And you know, it's so meaningful, more meaningful to me because my idea was to uh, help immigrants have the voice and having this award will help me help them to have a better voice. Thank you so much. And I really appreciate. Congratulations, Peter, again. I know you are in tears, right? You are so touched but this is very well deserved. And we are looking forward to, because many of us, we are also immigrants ourselves. We also want to share our story. We also want to deliver the positive message to the society. So now we depend on you. Thank you again. Congratulations, <laughs> Bita. Congratulations, Bita. Moving on to the second winner. This winner is a fully operational, a collective compromised of nine immigrant women. I don't think I have to say much more, but the best business implementation award goes to Mosaic Tastes. Yes, congratulations, Mosaic Tastes. I would like to ask Amal to please see if you would. The award goes to Mosaic Tastes. I don't think I have to say much more. Was it just nine immigrants? Come on. 
Congratulations, Amo. Are you going to say something on behalf of the group? Yeah, feel free to unmute yourself. Oh, Lucy, yeah, Lucy will be good too. Unfortunately, Amal had to go in for day surgery today. Um, oh. Leticia, are you there? You can say thank you on behalf of the group. On the net, you can say something on behalf of the group. I'll do that. Sorry about that. That's, That's okay. a problem with a team of nine people. So my name is Nanette Plant and I work with Mosaic Tastes. Um, it's been a real pleasure over the past year as they developed their business. They started in January as nine complete strangers and have been together for three solid months um, in the classroom, online, talking to one another and developed three spice blends. Um, two of them from the Middle East and one from Latin America. And what's really interesting about the group is that they all bring their cultures to the blend. So we have all sorts of Asian fusion recipes. Um, they're constantly talking about food and all the new things they've done with their spices. Um, and they've brought them now to the markets where they're having great success at, at selling um, their spices each week at the James Bay Market and the Oakland's Community Market here in Victoria. So on their behalf, thank you so much. Um, again, to uh, the CWB, to Diversity uh, Camosun College where they've been studying and all the different community partners and community members who they've had the opportunity to meet over the past nine months. Thank you. Congratulations again, Mosaic Test. So let's give them another round of applause. Good job, well done. We wish we can go to Victoria or you, do you offer some kind of a online order? We can have the product shipping to Vancouver. Okay. All yeah, right. An online store, so. Wonderful, so looking forward to. So congrats everybody. So not only Phoebe, not only Jessica received the honorable mentions, not only Beta received the best business ideas award for 2021, not only Mosaic Tests received the second award for the best business implementation. I will say from my perspective, every one of you, you are also the winners for your business journey. And we are just getting started, right? So running a business, we continue to do a little different every day. We want to have the different possibilities. So through the funding from the Canadian Western Bank, we are able to offer this one year's program. And through the program, we are able to create a small community for all the participants. And now we are going to grow this community further to include more women makers and creators in the society, in the community, maybe focus in BC for now. So please join us, join Infinity Women Pioneers. We will continue with our journey. And through the different partnership with Vancouver Community College and also with Intercultural Women Maker Society, we are likely be able to have other possibilities. So after this celebration, feel free to stay here. And if you have any questions for us, for diversity, for selection committees, and even for the winners, and even for the specific business idea, please feel free to stay. And then we, are, we will be more than happy to answer all of your questions. And as I always mentioned, this is just the beginning and we are working very hard. We are hoping we will be possibly hoping to see everybody next year. And we want to continue this support. Okay, so thank, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Florence. Um, and I'll say a few words. Uh, 
I, I do see that Dylan is here uh, from Canadian Western Bank. So Dylan, we'd love for you to say a few words um, as this is our first event and what were your impressions? Uh, yeah, happy to, and then happy to be a part of this. I mean, what an exciting event and leading up to it, um, you know, the, it, and just couldn't be more thrilled to be a part of the CWB Women Makers and Creators Award. Uh, the, the, the key word I have here is inspiring. The story shared today, the work done by all these incredible women, you know, we talk about being disruptors and, and making a real difference through entrepreneurial work and activity, just phenomenal. So I, I came into this very excited and having now been a part of the awards here, even more excited and, and a big thank you as well to Diversity. This is a phenomenal initiative and one of many that you undertake in our community. So incredibly important for us um, to be involved with organizations is just like yours in the community. So thank you for all that you do. And again, to the nominees and the winners, just a massive, massive congratulations. Thank you so much. That's great. Thank you, Dylan. And we would like to also recognize Lacey Jensen. Uh, she's done a lot of great work uh, with us through uh, Canadian Western Bank. And, and thank you, Lacey, for believing in our project uh, and uh, for the many conversations we've had. So what we'd like to do as we move into the next part of the, uh, the this uh, event, we'd like to do something a little bit more orderly. Uh, we know that many of you probably have questions for the people that are the entrepreneurs or participants and maybe Florence with the program and maybe Canadian Western Bank, but we'd just like to ask that you can ask questions of the uh, the participants of the program and get information. And, uh, and then we can, in, instead of having a free for all uh, uh, networking, it's kind of hard on Zoom for everybody to talk and cross over. So we're gonna open the floor to everyone to ask questions of any of the participants and you can respond or Florence or myself or any representative from Canadian Western Bank. So let's go ahead. <laughs> 